we have a problem. Clearly, there's a problem with the way we consume and with the way we treat objects. So let's talk about it. Starting with 100 interviews where I ask people, do you have any objects in your life that are meaningful to you? People share with me their stories with their objects, and their responses later compiled into a book taught me that even in a world overridden by consumption, some objects are still kept and cherished because of their emotional attachments and importances. And so I thought, if buying and selling becomes something that is bounded with commitment and responsibility, then maybe the buying and using and discarding of objects will no longer be something that is so taken for granted and something that is so casual. So I started imagining a world where buying and selling is transformed into the form of marriage and divorce. The first step was to talk to a divorce lawyer. And then we start designing the props for the world. <laughs> I've just come up with something. Let me show you. Application for surprise. Okay, so this is the first edition of my newspaper. I like it, um, but I think it's missing a bit more fun. Cheating scandal with a limited edition marker. <laughs> Got the second version. After building the world with props, I began planning a short film. The film will encompass everything that I have designed, demonstrate how the world operates, and also, most importantly, tell through the story and the protagonist's mouth the central view of the fictional world. But I felt like something else was needed. I wanted to design a series of products that speak of responsibility, respect, and thoughtfulness in and of itself. So the approach to the product is that the products will not work unless the user is gentle with it. It's a playful way of using an object's inherent form itself to compel and in some ways force the care and respect from users. It's about designing for unfunctionality and exploring the possibility at play for a design to inherently demand more intimate connections between objects and humans. 